we talk a lot about change. Um, we've got all of these phrases in our everyday speech, all about change. And they're all different. They've all got different types of meaning and different types of thinking behind them. A change of place is important, a change of mind, terribly important. We talk about a change of heart or a change of direction, change of expression, style, temperature, and so many other things. We go through them. Change of diet, and a ch I'm, I'm trying to have a change of diet at the moment, by the way. I'm trying to lose some weight, so I, you can challenge me in four weeks' time whether I managed to achieve anything so far, or whether I stuck to my plan. Um, change of climate, a change of clothes, change of government, regime change, change of season, state. Change of state, very important, of course, scientifically. A change of policy. And that great word, phrase from our great writer Shakespeare, a sea change, meaning the biggest possible change. A step change. Seismic change. And the types of change that can take place. Revolution. Evolution. Growth. Or decay. Transformation. Aging. Obsolescence. Gosh, we throw away too many things, don't we? Um, I, I, I think um, waste is one of the biggest things that we need to change in, in every country. We must stop wasting things. Gestation. Construction. Destruction. Seasonal change. And existential change coming into being or leaving it. That's one I love, serendipity. This is the art of finding something good without looking for it. These are also how change come about. Those, those I think are the four main ways in which we can, in which change can come about. And the biggest change of all time you might call it the Big Bang, you might call it creation, it doesn't matter what you call it, but at some point everything came to be. And we will talk a little bit, a bit in, in one of the next sessions about creation and creativity. So, let's talk about this relationship between young people and authority a little bit. Um, a lot of people nowadays talk about engagement of young people or empowerment of young people. These are phrases that are heard all around the world in, amongst all the organizations that are working with youth. Um, it, it's frequently heard in, in anybody, in any organization that supports youth projects or organizes events like this. And these organizations usually want to give you this support because they have an agenda which you are helping them to achieve. Though I would say it's a benign agenda because their agenda is to help you also. And you can think of those organizations as some kind of benevolent authority. They believe in you to some extent, up to a point. They tend to use phrases like future leaders. So there's an assumption that they're helping you to prepare for some sort of role in the future, whether that's defined or not defined, but how far in the future? No one can say. What's the time scale? It might be years or it might be decades. And I wonder if that isn't too long. What happens if those supporters are no longer there or if they no longer care one day? Do you have the motivation to go on without them? It's 
it's very well and good when someone organizes an activity or a program like this one. But what happens if they don't? And what about the people who don't get the chance to participate in these wonderful sessions? So a tremendous amount depends on you in any case right now. It depends on what you do, not just in the future, but today. So the question of how long it will be until you can change the world is actually a very, very important and urgent question. So does the world need to be changed? How many of you here would actually like to see some kind of fundamental change? And I'm not talking about politics, by the way, I'm talking about all sorts of other things. Your careers may take you into education or culture or science or technology or social work or something that hasn't even been invented yet. But change will be part of any of those things and it is all around us and it will be a feature of your lives. But how many of you want to participate in that change or how many want to lead the change? And how long do you think it will be before you can? On a scale of one to 10, let's say, how do you rate the actual influence that young people have? <laughs>